wonderful. A veritable treasure trove. That's a perfectly good sock. Just ignore us. Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work! Oh, stunt double? Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill, snap! Watch the birdie! Oh, pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yes, yes. Like you did on that, on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, well, that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah? Oh. Like that. Maybe something oh. like this? Or oh. like that, huh? You like that? Oh, that's enough, huh? dear. You like that? Oh. 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 Please! Oh, hey. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Mm. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. I'm, uh, I'm not Jock, uh, what's his name? Cranley. Big star in the 80s. We well, love celebs. Oh. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes. Yeah. Before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. Oh. They're not like you or me. <laughs> Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins. It's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few Vinewood souvenirs for my mm. museum. No, no, look, look, look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> <laughs> oh, a pair of fruitcakes. Gary, can I pet your pooch? I'm a big fan. Dexy, Dexy! That's your fault, you stupid bald prick! Hey! Oh, Jesus! This really happening. It's a guy chasing a dog! What is it with you people? Doggy, come on, doggy. Be good to daddy. Oh, gotcha, you little bastard. There, there. I know this is weird for all of us. You're gonna make a batshit crazy lady very happy. <sighs> okay, huh? now get back to Carrie before she uses this as an excuse to go back to rehab. <laughs> Jock! Celebrity newsflash! Maniac steals collar from Carrie McIntosh's dog in Rockford Hills! Oh, how delightful! Mrs. Thornhill will have me sporting that in the bedroom before the week is out. <laughs> oh, I, I, I joke, of course. <laughs> we really can't thank you enough for all the effort you're going to to make our holiday so special. Ah, don't mention it. I always enjoy meeting people more chemically unbalanced than myself.
I bet I could hit your G sharp every time. You guys were amazing. Hey man, no more autographs. Hey, that's okay. I want something more personal. <laughs> I can't believe. Okay, which one of you cupcakes is Willie? Hey, who the fuck are you? <laughs> His dentist. Well, he's still downstairs chatting up some bird, man. Whoa, his dentist comes to him? That is so cool. Oh, some of the shit I've seen, love, it's unimaginable. You know, if Jez and the guys hadn't gotten so into yoga and probiotics nowadays... Ah, you know. Chin stainer is, like, my ultimate break. Piss off, you twat, before I kick your ass. <laughs> Guess what, you crazy English fruitcake? Oh, I'm dreadful at guessing. Aren't I, Mrs. Thornhill? No, she can't hear me. She's washing out a nappy from Samantha Muldoon's dustbin. Yeah, uh, one gold tooth, courtesy of Love Fist, complete with complimentary DNA. Marvelous, marvelous. Oh, Jock, I knew you wouldn't let us down. Toodaloo! How's it going? I'm okay. This guy wants me to use iFrank's for his website. Wake up and smell the web 2.0. Could just climb Sir, over. Turns out I'm a weapons grade celebrity stalker. Hello, this is Nigel. 
Please be quick. I'm roaming in the United States of America. It's me, you nutcase. I picked up some clothes from your friend Tyler Dixon. There's even a skid mark. What fantastic news! Wait till Mrs. Thornhill hears about this. Oh, she will be pleased as punch. Word up! <laughs> I said it, Mrs. Thornhill. I, uh, persuaded Mark Faustenberg to donate one of his golf clubs to your Museum of Dysfunction. Oh, bravo! It will take pride of place on the wall above Jill von Krastenberg's pregnancy test. <laughs> Speak to you soon! I love Americans. You're all so brash and uncomplicated. I really don't need this. I got you that stuff. Oh, great. Thank you. Where's your wife? Mrs. Thornhill, she's mm. not my wife. She's got a husband and two lovely kiddies at home. We met online. It's no nothing sexual. Where is she? Well, she's been trying to throw herself under celebs' wheels. <laughs> well, well, she can throw herself under my wheels anytime. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were funny, John. Yeah. I knew. I would like you. C can I have a hug? Okay. Yeah. Uh, hug, yeah. Uh, Come here. Come here. Uh, I've got a pr protruding hip. It's not a semi. Nigel! John! No. You won't believe what's happened! What? Only Al Dinapoli walking. He actually walks! He walks walk among, among us. us! Well, then what are you freaks waiting for? Well, that's a long story. 
of mistaken identity. And a lot of lies. Stalking is not what I would call it. Oh me, I told the judge I thought it was unfair. Yes, anyone's trousers could have come undone at that point. Exactly. Jolly bad luck, and we were such fans. Mm. If only we could talk to him. Yes, I know it was only his lawyers and agents. They ruin everything. If we could only get him somewhere private. You see, like that little lockup I know. No problemo. Look, there he is! Oh, shit. It's that crazy English bitch again. Nigel, he remembers me! To the chariot! Jock, you drive. Quick, he's getting away! Come on, Jock, get in! He's taking a left turn down the high street, Jock! Did you ever imagine we might get a private audience with Al Di Napoli? Only in my wildest dreams. All those nights spent role-playing in Mother's utility room. If only we'd known. I loved him in The Redeemer. Oh, Nigel, do your Al Di Napoli line. This is turban warfare, motherfucker. <laughs> it's uncanny. <laughs> oh, dear. Poor Jock must think we're batting. Oh, don't be silly. I hear that behind his charitable public... Oh, my word! Jock! Do you see that lorry? What the fuck's a lorry? Have a little faith. Anyone would think this was my first kidnapping. What on earth will we feed the man? I hadn't even thought of that. He probably eats sushi or quinoa. Is that even how you say it? What if he wants meth? Don't get flustered again, Nigel. You'll have another turn. Glad to see you on the proper side of the road. Find out! He's going into the car park. The car park? No worries, mate. Oh, I hope he likes us. How could he not? This lockup you prepared sounds charming. Just be yourself, Mrs. Thornhill. Oh, my giddy eyes. Everything okay there, Earl Crazy Cakes? My prostate has taken quite a beating. Do you have to lower the tone? This must be second nature to you, Jock. All those stunts you used to do. And we saw you're up for governor of San Andreas. That's right. In between openly attacking celebrities all over town, I'm running for public office. This level of derangement, I'm impressed. Is he going through the hospital? Oh, my lord! Hold on to your corsets! Uh, seems rude not to follow him through the window. Bloody hell! Such a thrill! Ah, uh, would you like me to escort your... Guest of honor to the trunk. Well, if you don't mind. Oh, come here, you. Come on. Come on. Let me meet your biggest fan. Ah. You're fucking crazy. Oh, it's Get Al Napoli. You're good to go. Ah, a true gentleman. This is so exciting. Nut jobs. Before fucking bad. Before fucking bad. I'm supposed to wear the same shit for a week. Such a minute. Oh, he's making such a fuss, these submarines. Oh, they're not like you or me. Ah, ah apart from you, Jock. <laughs> Would you go and get him one of his favorite pizzas? No. Well, then I don't know what to do with him. I mean, he hasn't eaten for a few days. You've kidnapped a major movie star, okay? 
Now, you can either leave him somewhere and hope he's been sufficiently scared shitless to stay quiet, or you can send him on the kind of trip he won't come back from. Oh, a trip! Such fun! Oh dear, oh dear, what a palaver this is! Decisions, decisions! If you could just handle this, Jock. Al is in the boot of the car. You'd be doing us such a favor. I'm really not one for goodbyes. you from A to B. Uh, a being the trunk of this car and B being a horrific scenario of my choosing. Oh God, please no. I, I, I have money on me. Lots of money. Good to know, Well, Good to know. I'll be sure to grab that after we're done. Oh, shit. Please let me go. I thought you were a big, tough action movie guy. movie critics. Are those crazy old bricks with you? Just me and you, honey bun. Did you have fun with those two? They're harmless, aren't they? They are not harmless. Those fucked up power game the things that woman maybe do to her feet. Ah, you lucky boy. Older women are to be cherished. Like a fine cheese. Sometimes the rind is the best bit. What do you want? Cars? Drugs? Where are art? I, I got shit loads of art. I mean, no, you wouldn't want that. You barely know me, Al, and you're already judging my cultural standing. I find that very offensive. There must be something you want. Other than a cheeseburger, a cold beer, and you shutting the hell up? I'm all good. Whatever they pay you, I'll double it! They're not paying me anything! Then why are you doing this? Well, one, I'm a bad person. Two, I understand that love takes many forms. And three, most importantly, you've seen all our faces. I've made the mistake of not tying up loose ends once before. I won't tell a soul, I promise. We both know you'll go straight to the police. Well, here we are, Al. Curtain's up. It's time for your final scene. <laughs> ah! Ah! 